I'm curious what aliens... Hello. Partying. When the aliens party in a city, they will deploy some special forces with awesome powers. Civilians will be directly threatened and governments will be forced to evacuate whole areas. The main purpose behind the activity is to generate sufficient public hysteria so the governments will threaten the Axiom project. Hyperwave decoder. How did we get a hyperwave decoder? Oh, we finished research on some of our live alien friends. Alright. Sectoid medic. Sectoid leader as well, but we won't put anyone on it. Not yet, at least. Okay, one lonely guy. Okay. So, I've actually forgotten what I was going to do. <laughs> um, because I got confused by the hyperwave decoder. Maybe we'll just put hyperwave decoder. No, we can't. We have to research it? Oh, okay. Well, hyperwave decoders are like basically the best thing ever, so <laughs> let's get on that. Alright. Research completed. Reaper. So we must have finished research on one of the medics. <sighs> I would literally just accept the party and get wasted. I love the fact that I changed the text. I don't actually know what it originally said. Obviously something about, um... Terror missions, but like, I have no idea what. My proof's not important. Alien origins vaguely are, flying suits vaguely are, laser defense is really not important. Oh yeah, sector leader, sector leader is. Uh, I, I guess it gives a sigh. I guess I should probably do that. Yeah. Hello, friend. Time to get a shot out of the sky. Kabam! Crash land. Did we lose anyone? No. No one got injured either. That's actually really good. How's manufacturing going? Not bad, surprisingly. Uh, we could do with another workshop. It's a living space like though. Nearly empty. Oh, nearly full, actually. Um I guess leave it then. It also costs a lot of money to hire all the engineers. So and we'll save our oh, stream games for three. Alright. Dude, these stun rods are working out pretty well. So we're in the middle of the map, and we don't see- we do see the UFO, okay. You just chill there then. Did I prime these? I did. Alright. So we're gonna assume that they're in this building complex and this building complex. With a moderate probability, so we're gonna smoke both of them. Which will keep us fairly safe. And we're gonna smoke here, so we don't get flanked. I 
On the plus side, the person carrying the rocket launcher seems to be psi resistant. Um, the enemies only target people who have weak slash low psi resistance. So if someone doesn't get targeted like ever, that means they're not... It doesn't necessarily imply that they're strong, it just means they're not weak. And what you can do is just make sure the people who are weak have like not very strong equipment. So they don't kill everyone if they get mind controlled. Or if they go berserk or whatever. Mr. Tanky. Play. Alright. I guess I'll move up. What are your power suits? I'm feeling cocky. H is playing Ron. I'm feeling very cocky actually. Things have been going very well. But I'm not feeling cocky enough to use personal armor to explore. <laughs> you guys can just stay here and try not to die. I didn't hear any of these doors. There are probably no one's here. Probably. Edge of the map? Yeah. Well, there's a building there, though. Alright. So, I'll get them to stand in cover next to the UFO, and then they'll be ready to breach next turn. Look at their beautiful pixelated bodies. No doors at all. That's... hello. That's unusual. Um... Get these rookies to try and take him out. I think the top side of the map is pretty safe. Nice shot, holy shit. That was solid. You got like a point. Alright, time to breach. Time to have no stun rod. Time to have no stun rod. God damn it. Harmon, why don't you have a stun rod? Alright, this guy's a stun rod. Let's just chuck that over to our friends. Oh, what the fuck? Wow. Okay. Well, if you chuck the stun rod... Not stun. Bro, if you chuck it there, then we can pick it up and stun the guy. Hi, how's it going? Oh, no we can't. Cost too much. Oh, perfect, it doesn't... Oh, get stunned. And then this guy will just run away from him. And we'll stun him next turn. And hopefully he doesn't come out and shoot us. He came out to try and shoot us. But because we're amazing, it didn't do anything. Please don't snap fire with the rocket launcher. It will make me very sad. Alright. And tank can keep exploring. Yeah, just stay there. That's a heavy plasma. Ah, uh, he got killed. Shit. Damn it. We're gonna make you pay. Uh, but not too hard, because that would be suicidal. Ah, oh, we need those flying suits, man. He might—he survived the first shot, and the second shot killed him. Flying suits have like 10 more armor, 
It might have been enough to keep him alive. <sighs> and we need <laughs> we've been using so many smoke grenades, we need to buy more. What? Oh, we have too much random shit. Okay. Probably from all the armor I just built. Plus, you know, corpses. <laughs> Damn corpses. Getting in the way. This is a good chunk of money though. Now can I buy them? Smoke grenades, perfect. Smoke grenades are pretty small. Okay. So ten soldiers. Ten soldiers, ten soldiers, alright. I need to go look up the base layouts. And while we have so much money, let's build another base. Either Africa or Australia, I'm thinking. Like here, and then I can build one in Antarctica. Maybe. The very tip of this island. Shit, what do we name it? Um... <laughs> uh... Tainted Mines. Obviously. Um... I should have looked up the layout, but because I didn't, I'm gonna have to set it with this very poor layout. Sell <laughs> even more stuff. Wait, what? Did it put stuff in our inventory before the ship came back? That's pretty funny. But we don't need food and surgery. They don't. They're not useful for anything. Other than research. At least not for humans. Oh shit. Large. It's gonna need both ships. How's manufacturing going? A few days. Um I should start transferring stuff. I have 10 laser rifles. Maybe 4 power suits, 6 muscle armor. Or maybe 6 and 4. And I'll keep the personal armor as spares. Because everything's starting to do more damage. Power suits are kind of the requirement now. Mm. You guys need anything else? Not really. Oh, a tank. There you go. Yeah. Oh, men, some medicates. Maybe five. And we'll start manufacturing some more when we have space. Oof. Monthly rating 3000. That's sick, dude. Let's put another base. So, Antarctica maybe for the last base. The coverage in the Arctic is okay. So, probably just like Africa. Like here ish. So we try to maximize coverage. Yeah, that's pretty good now. Maybe slightly higher. Like there. 
what what jerk pun meme do we use? Captain Africa will save the day. It's not a very good one, but hey, it'll do. Alright, so these spaces will take ages to build up, and we're gonna need a lot more money to equip everything. But we'll deal with that later. Found him. Come back. <laughs> okay. You go there. You go home. <laughs> please don't land, please don't land, please don't land. Damn. Get shot out of the sky. Small. Uh, um, manufacturing nearly done. Get another rookie. Twenty-two is fine. Actually, no, it's not. Twenty-four. Everyone gets two, and the starting guys get three. It's funny because they don't have three. He does. Oh yeah, you don't need a another one. There you go. Enjoy. Armor. Um, uh... Oh wow, there's enough power suits for everyone. Lovely. Enjoy. And while I remember, you guys need some smoke grenades. Oh, you have them. Perfect. Should probably transfer an interceptor to one of the other bases. Soon. Very soon. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, whatever. Why well, we spawn on the edge in a corner? Oh, it's close to the corner there. I forgive you. They are snake men, first encounter. Should be enough, I hope. If this guy looks out the window, he will be able to shoot us. After everything else, there's Mastercard. Oh, and we just shot him in the back too. Now, oh, good shot. The Snakemen are notable because they... <sighs> so like with with floaters, when they do a terror mission, they bring along Reapers. When Snakemen do a terror mission, they bring along Chrysalids, and Chrysalids are god-awful because Reapers bite things and then the thing that gets bitten dies. Chrysalids bite something and they turn into zombies with eggs inside and then the, the eggs hatch into aliens. 
or something. I don't remember exactly what the technical process is, but they turn into aliens. So your dudes turn into aliens, and civilians turn into aliens, and it's just awful. And they're really fast. Which makes it even more awful. There's another dude up there. Maybe rocket it out. Boink. Did I destroy the stairs? I don't think so. Hmm. Can't see him. Interesting. Unusual. Unexpected. What? He just walked up to us and like didn't care. Okay, well, we're gonna stun you then. Blink. Some more time units. Also, I should probably switch everyone to laser rifles now. These pistols are not that great. Oh, laser pistols are okay, but laser rifles just do more damage, which is useful. What time is it? Oh wait, I have a clock now. A clock broke before, so we lost the clock in the room and it got really awkward when I kept looking at it. Nice little time. Although, maybe it's time to turn Flux up. One sec. Alright. Um, so, the manufacturing is nearly done, which is good. Stuff has arrived at base number two, which is also good. And I will start equipping those laser rifles. Um, I've had to sell the rocket launcher now. More oh, rockets aren't worth it, and I don't really want to wait for a large rocket. Rocket launcher, yeah. Or use more missiles, yeah. Another medium. Wait, come back. Uh, he's not over land, so we're just gonna let him keep going for a bit. Until he's over land, and then we'll shoot him. Right, get him. I hope this hits. Oh, alright. Because if we didn't, we'd have to send the other interceptor out, <laughs> which would be awful. Hypergrave decoder is going pretty well. Plasma rifles also probably done soon. And off we go. Alright, one sec. Oh, 
Never mind. Um, why do we have six laser rifles? Is it not smart enough to give people guns? <laughs> Damn. There you go. Enjoy your guns. Why are you left handed? Really inconvenient. Hi. Hi. That could actually kill him. Why did I say that? <laughs> Wait, we lose morale when a tank dies? Are you serious? Oh my god. I don't know if I patched that in. Whether it was there the whole time. That's kind of unfortunate for me there. Wait, just, just gun him down. There's too many aliens here. <laughs> and we don't have a tank anymore. Um... Run? <laughs> close. Also close. And dead. Excellent. Nice shot. Get the one behind him. Nearly. Get him, boys. Close. Also close. Oh. Uh, got him. Perfect. Let's just punch up and hope we don't die to a grenade. <laughs> Scout ahead. Looks like nothing good. But just in case, I'm gonna not put them literally all together. Have a few squares between them, and a couple squares further back than we could potentially go. There's a lot of aliens here, and they can see me. Oh, PR. I guess of all the places you could run, that's probably the best one. But still, I'm pretty disappointed in you. I'm moving up. We need to reduce their numbers. And try to kill the guys that have line of sight on us. Unless they're just seeing us through the ship, in which case, we're pretty burned. So we're down to two squads of four. Because those guys are just gonna constantly get attacked by Psy. Like someone's just forcefully shoving earphones into their ears and playing Gangnam Style on repeat. And it just makes them go insane. That guy's nuts. I'm gonna get this guy to sprint. Um, I might actually line them up and then get the guys in front to kneel. 
and do the same here just so the angle's nice and shallow I'm not shallow um long long angles are good still mind controlled of course He was behind us the whole time. That is pretty funny, actually. I believe in you, Pierre. My belief was misplaced. Please don't die. <laughs> uh, who needs experience? You do, but there's a guy in the way. Good shot. Proud of you. Unlike this guy. Not proud of you. You actually hurt him, what the fuck? Now Neil Diamond will have to heal him. God damn it. Mind control again. And this guy got panicked. Hmm. That is not good. Good shot. Still happening. We saw something move really briefly. <laughs> Again, through a smoke grenade. Oh, there we go. Killing aliens is good for morale. So hopefully this guy can get the kill. You seeing our friend? Yes. Okay, that's fine. We've learned to forgive him. I know this counts as the level below. Really inconvenient. Alright. Maybe it's time to breach the ship. I'm getting tired of being mind controlled. Hello. Have you got a moment to talk about death? I guess not. Shame the um ship exploded. It has two power sources which are not easy to come by. And not cheap to make. How are you holding up? Oh, you didn't take any damage. Good for you. Who do you see? An alien in the darkness? Well, I don't think you can shoot him. Now you probably can. Nice. That's good. Um, sure. You can watch the elevator with your friend Armand. Your dear, dear friend Armand. What? Where? Yeah. Whoa. The floor's been destroyed. Okay. That's problematic. Because it means we need to watch a lot more places. On the plus side, they're panicking. Hi. 
Not hurt. Good, 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 good. We'll try and stun this guy if we can. Uh, I don't know if we have any stuns nearby though. They might all be outside. Oh, Neil Diamond has one. I guess he can run over. Well, like we can do a relay team actually. So Neil runs here. Sees the guy who's mind controlled, but that's fine. Um, where is it? Over here. Goes back inside. Gets shot. As you do. Just a normal day. This guy can pick it up. Go here and then like throw it inside. And then this guy can pick it off the ground and stun him. That was beautiful. I'm so proud of us. And then there's holes in the floor, but we can't see through them. They can see through them. God damn it. Hi. Well, good night. That was the guy we stunned earlier. He woke up. This guy really wants to party, guys. Um. I. Oh, God damn it! At least he got stuck in the elevator. I can't tell if this is a hole. I think maybe it is. In which case, we can't stand there without falling down. Obviously. I might go up this one as well. Oh, probably led to the same place. Well, in that case, um, I'm gonna go up, and I'll just get these two guys to stay here in case anything falls through. Hi. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please, please, please. Pretty please. Ah, oh, you're not doing too bad. Neil Diamond is here to save the day. But shot the arm. Oh, you're, yeah, you're doing pretty okay. Okay. Um, let's just go back into hiding. I don't want to deal with this. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. <laughs> Hi. Oh my god, he got one shot. He got one shot from the front. If Armand had checked the door, he would have been fine. Or if he got better RNG, he would have been fine. Fuck. He better be worth it. We saw something really briefly. Like one frame. <sighs> okay. God damn it. This 
this guy's about to panic. That's quite bad. I might just get Neo to cover there, like that. Yep, he panicked. At least he fell down to safety. Send her back up. Uh, he can stay. Just in case again, someone might drop down. Got Neil to come up and... Help you. Hi. I actually want to try and kick him alive. So. You hurry. Of course you are, buddy. He stopped throwing smoke grenades. <laughs> Alright. We'll get Neil Diamond to do the um. Stunning. Shit, where did I throw it? Did I throw it onto him? Okay, I did. Because Neil Diamond has the most time units. Naturally. Of course you do. Of course you do. Alright. Hello. Good night. Nighty night. Um, we'll try to stun that guy too. Yeah, no, next one over. Sprint over. There we go. And that should be it. And if it's not, we're in a bit of a pickle. There we go. Alright, so we lost the tank. And we lost Armand. So that one got one shot. <laughs> Unfortunately for him. To build another tank. That's my rifle. That's fine. That's my rifle. Finish the power suits. Perfect. Alright, let's make another tank. <laughs> Just one, it'll probably only take a day. Not even. Alright. Uh, right, so we need to transfer one of the interceptors. Um, maybe we'll transfer Butt Destroyer to. What's the other side of the map? Central Asia. The other side is like, I guess North America. Or South America, maybe. I think North America is about as far away. Transfer Butt Destroyer to Sleepy People. And while you're there, you might as well transfer. Holy shit, we have 11 soldiers. Wow, alright. I was gonna say why we need to transfer equipment, but we need to build more power suits. We just build 10 more. And then get started on some mini kits. Probably want twenty of those. But destroyer. Congratulations. You're gonna need some missiles. 
probably should have done that before I transferred it. I don't know which is closer. Let's let Bot Destroyer do it. No, never mind. Way to go. Hmm. Interesting. Just disappeared. Oh, hello. We flew right over our base. That was that was a little scary. Let's let it fly over land so we can shoot it down and retrieve it. Actually, it's a very small. It's just gonna die. What am I doing? Uh, no, that's fine. Large. I don't know if this is enough firepower. It might run out of missiles. The aliens are partying. Because I could shoot down the craft because I didn't have enough firepower. Oh god. God damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna call that a night. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with that right now. Uh, before I do that though, see if I can transfer anything. Oh, so it's six. Six is enough. So we'll transfer stuff to Dell. Six power suits, four personal armor, a tank. And ten laser rifles. Yes. And Dow can buy their own smoke grenades. And some proximity grenades. And we also need to get more laser rifles. <laughs> save over that. For the whole one person watching, thanks for watching. I will probably be streaming again maybe tomorrow around the same time. So like now minus two hours or three hours or so. Um, but if not tomorrow then probably the day after and if not the day after then probably the day after that just ever again around around the same time around now minus two maybe three hours. So. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later.